Kurdish forces in northern Iraq have retaken several towns from Islamic uh, militants as support from U.S. airstrikes begin to turn the tide in this uh, conflict. With more, we turn to Paul Yee at the News Center. Paul, while Iraqi troops continue to battle on the ground, it appears that Baghdad is facing a political crisis. That's right. As fighting rages on across the country, the Iraqi government has been gripped by political deadlock. Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki, who is partly blamed for fermenting this latest insurgency, is refusing to give up power. And in the latest development, Maliki's own Shiite parliamentary bloc has nominated the deputy prime minister to succeed him. This as security forces loyal to the embattled prime minister have been deployed in the streets of the capital city. Our Shin Zemin has the details. Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki is not denying calls to step down. He's taking in. During a speech on state television Sunday, Maliki said he will not drop his bid for a third term in office and intends to file a complaint against Iraq's new president for violating the constitution for political gains. Maliki claims President Fouad Massoum failed to name a prime minister from the country's largest parliamentary faction by a deadline on Sunday. The calls have grown louder for Maliki to step aside in favor of someone who can bring the nation together in the face of the growing threat posed by Islamic State militants. The United States launched a fourth round of airstrikes on Sunday in northern Iraq, helping Kurdish troops recapture a large swath of land there. But other towns remain in militants' hands, including Makamar district, which is a short distance from Erbil, the capital of the Kurdistan region. Islamic State militants have so far killed at least 500 members of Iraq's Yazidi minority, including women and children, according to an Iraqi government minister on Sunday. Some 20,000 refugees who were trapped on Mount Sinjar have been rescued and moved to the Iraqi-Syrian border. Aside from the airstrikes, the Obama administration says it will continue to push for an inclusive Iraqi government capable of handling the situation by itself. Since I'm in, Arirang News.